by these special roots. If these roots come loose, the kelp will float away. If too much kelp floats away, there'll be no more kelp forest. And all these creatures will have nowhere to live. But what's causing all the kelp to come loose in the first place? A vast! Look, mateys! I was afraid of this. Red urchins. Red urchins destroy kelp roots. They can wipe out an entire kelp forest. Unless there are sea otters <gasps> around to eat them. Pearl! <laughs> Hello, Shellington. Everybody, this is my sister Pearl, the sea otter. Oh, hiya. Hi, Hello. Pearl is a scientist, just like me. She knows practically everything about kelp forests and kelp plants. Actually, kelp isn't a plant at all. It's a type of algae. See? So this is who you wanted us to meet. Uh, not exactly, but I'm sure Pearl can tell us what's wrong with the kelp forest. Ah, uh, yes. I'm afraid I've fallen a bit behind on my urchin duties. Urchin duties? Yes, we sea otters are what's known as a keystone species. The whole kelp forest depends on us to eat the red urchins so they don't destroy it. It's our duty as sea otters. But I've never seen you eat an urchin. Uh, well, actually, as it turns out, I'm allergic to urchins. Shellington helps the kelp forest in a different way. As an octonaut. Oh, usually, I can keep the urchins under control all by myself. But lately, I've been kind of busy with... Well, let me show you. He's right over here. I wrapped him up in kelp so he wouldn't drift away. Everybody, this is Periwinkle. <laughs> this is who I wanted you all to meet. My new nephew. Oh, oh, look at look him. how fuzzy he is. But he's still just a baby, so I spend most of my time feeding him, cleaning him, and teaching him how to find food. Once Per is a little older, he'll be able to dive down to eat red urchins too. As a matter of fact, it's just about time for Perry's first diving lesson. Oh, but I still have to catch up on my urchin duties. Pearl, why don't you and Shellington give Perry his diving lesson and let us clear the urchins out of the kelp forest? Oh, that would be wonderful. Octonauts, let's do this. We eat red urchins like this. Now you try. Oh, no, sweetie, that's a rock. Shellington, how's the diving lesson going? Well, Perry's found three red rocks, two red shells, one grumpy red crab, <coughs> but no red urchins. How about you? It took a while, but we managed to clear the red urchins out of the kelp forest. Oh, well, that should keep them under control, at least until it gets dark. Captain, red urchins are most active at night. They might try to come back when the sun goes down. In that case, we'd better stay the night. We'll take turns looking out for urchins. Now, you're sure you'll be okay up there, Shellington? Of course, Captain. Nothing like sleeping out under the stars, sea otter style. Ah, we're holding hands and holding on to kelp so we don't uh, float away. Uh. <sighs> Still no sign of any urchins. Ooh. Hello? Hey, can't the guy have dinner in peace? Oh, excuse me. I thought you were... Ah, urchins! Oh, no. That's the strand of kelp Shellington's holding on to. <laughs> Shellington, come in, Shellington. Your kelp strand is loose. Oh, um, I just want to sleep. 
Just a few minutes more, Mum. <laughs> to the GUP A. Octonauts, the urchins are heading for the kelp forest, and we've got to stop them. Everyone, let's... Uh, hang on, where's Shellington? Captain, the urchins, they destroyed the roots of the kelp he was holding on to. Captain, look! Shellington, Pearl and Perry are drifting out to sea. Dashy, Quasi, you take the Gup A to rescue Shellington. Tulip, Tweak, we'll help Peso with the urchins. There's no time to lose. Everyone, into positions. Quasi, Dashy, any sign of Shellington and Pearl? We're approaching them now, Captain. Hurry, Dashy. We need all the help we can get. Avast! There they are, matey! Whoa! Whoa! If we get too close, we'll crash into them. Quasi, maybe you can... Reel them in. Already on it. Almost. Yeah. Almost. like a job for a keystone species. Shellington! The urchins will keep coming back to the kelp forest unless we move them somewhere with plenty of food. <gasps> that rocky reef! There's plenty of algae for them to eat there. But what about the urchins that are already in the kelp forest? Pearl, I hope you're hungry. Reporting for urchin duty. <laughs> All right, Octonauts, start moving urchins to the rocky reef. It's working! The urchins like it here. Keep it up, Octonauts. Thanks, Tweak. Good work, everyone. The red urchins are gone and the kelp forest is safe. Oh, thanks, Octonauts. I don't know what I would have done without all your help. Oops, missed one. <laughs> Perry, you did it! Your first red urchin! From now on, it looks like you'll have some help with your urchin duties. <laughs> Captain, there's outside. I saw a oh, 
What's all the commotion about? There's something out there. Something big. Really big? I saw it. It's huge. It's white. And it made a noise like... Whoa. Captain, look at this. I managed to snap a picture of... whatever's out there. That's it. That's what I saw. What on earth could it be? It's as big as a whale, but whales are usually dark greyish. Hi, me hearties. <gasps> That's no ordinary whale. That there be a ghost whale. Ghost whale? Aye, it's a crafty beast, as pale and cold as the moonlight. It rises from the depths at night and plays tricks on passing ships. Whatever it is, it sounds sad. It may be hurt. Or need our help. We're going to find this so-called ghost whale. Quasi, sound the octo alert. Yow! Octonauts, to the launch bay. Octonauts, we're going to find this so-called ghost whale. Tweak? If there's something out there, these will help you find it in the dark. Whoa! One peek through these ghost goggles, and you'll be able to see the heat coming from its body. Ghost goggles? Shiver me whiskers. Ready, Peso? Let's go. Tweak, open the octa hatch. Got it, Cap! Scallywag must be around here somewhere. This way. A vast, strange heat patterns are coming from that pink colored reef. Whatever we're looking for, it should be right here. And then we better take a look. Octonauts, let's investigate. There's something very strange about this reef. Captain, look at this. It's white underneath. Hmm. Let me try that. <laughs> this is no reef. Some kind of trick. Come here, you. Steady on, Quasi. We still don't know what we're dealing with here. It's coming back. What? Haven't you ever seen a whale with a sunburn before? This may be another ghost trick. Or this may not be a ghost at all. Ghost? Who are you calling a ghost? I'm a humpback whale. I just happen to be completely white. Nice try, but you're pink. I've got sunburn on my back, and it doesn't feel very good to have you lot climbing all over it. Ouch. That must really hurt. Ah, oh, well, it's my own fault. Yesterday I spent too much time near the surface and got this nasty burn from the sun. With a burn like that, you should stay down here at the bottom, out of the sun. I'd like to, but uh, I can't hold my breath forever. I have to go up for air every 15 minutes. The sun will be coming up again soon. Unless we do something, your sunburn will get even worse. I know just the solution, Captain. A hundred cc's of super soothing beluga strength underwater sun cream. Uh, Peso? Phew. Yes, Captain. I think we're gonna need more sun cream. A lot more. But that was my last bottle. Let's see. It's made from water, sea slime, mushroom coral mucus... Mushroom coral! That's it! 
What's he going on about? Once, in me pirate days, I found myself washed up on a desert island. The only thing that protected me from the scorching sun was a mushroom coral. It grows in the shallows and makes its own oily, oozy sun cream. That sounds disgusting. It sounds perfect. Let's go! Hold on, Quasi. There's not enough time to find the mushroom coral and bring it back here before the sun comes up. He'll have to come with us. Oh, I'm sorry, mate, but I'm not fit for swimming that far. This sunburn really hurts. If we can't bring the coral to the whale, we'll bring the whale to the coral. How are we going to move a whale? Come in, Tweak. We're going to need some gup backup here. You got it, Cap. Which gup do you need? All of them. Octonauts, let's pick up the pace. We've got to get this whale to the coral before sunrise. Hang on, big guy. We're almost there. We should find some mushroom corals in the shallow water up ahead. Truly amazing. An albino humpback whale. Albino? Every now and then, a whale will be born that's completely white. An albino? It's a very rare sight indeed. Listen, mate, I can't stay under forever. How about taking me up for some air? Captain, the whale needs to take a breath. Got it. Quasi, you copy? I copy, Captain. Watch that fin. Tweak, are you there? Right here, Cap. We've got to bring our friend here up for air. Get ready to surface. Octonauts, let's do this. To hurry. The sun will be coming up any minute now. Ahoy! Mushroom coral! Straight ahead! Uh-oh. Looks like we've got company. A school of squid. We'll go around them. At this speed, we can't turn fast enough to go around them. What should we do, Captain? An emergency drop. I don't think I like the sound of this. Those coral are our target. On the count of three. One. Two, three! Hey! Uh, nice driving back there. Excellent work, Octonaut. But we've still got a lot more work to do. We're not hurting the coral, are we? Mushroom corals are tough and aren't attached to anything. They don't mind being moved around a bit. Just a bit more. And finished. Ha! <laughs> a coral that makes sun cream. I never knew there was such a thing. Well, I never knew there was such a thing as a white and pink whale. <laughs> Thanks. Oh, I think I feel it's working already. Uh, good on you, mates. Just be careful not to spend too much time in the sun. Let's take a photo. Wait. <laughs> Oi! Watch the sunburn, mate. Oops. <laughs> Perfect! That's it. Come on out. Dashy, oh. come in, Dashy. How's the photo assignment going? Well, I've taken some good shots. But if I want one of my photos on the cover of National Geographic, I need a really great shot. <gasps> Captain, I have to call you back. Manta rays. Incredible. Manta ray coming through. Hey, wait up, chaps. Ouch! Oh, I'm so sorry for crashing into you like that. I just... Ouch! Are you all right? No, I... I think I scratched my fin. Ow! 
Sorry about Muriel here. For a manta ray, she's not very good at leaping. For a manta ray, she's not very good at anything. Oh, ha, ha, very funny. Don't mind them. They're just my remora fish. Most of us manta rays have them. They ride around with me everywhere. Oh! You better come with me, Muriel. I know just the person who can make your fin feel better. Please do make her better, Doctor. Muriel may be clumsy, but she is our friend. Don't worry, Muriel. Your fin just needs a little slime. Slime? What you need slime for? Manta Ray's skin is protected by a layer of slime. Some of Muriel's got scratched off when she crashed into Dashi. There. Good as new. Thanks. Now, uh, got to go. I need to catch up with the other Manta Rays. They know the way. The way? The way to what? Every so often, we manta rays have a big feast in a special place. The secret manta ray feeding ground. I reckon nobody's ever photographed that before. How do we get there, Muriel? Um... <laughs> if you find out, be sure to tell Muriel. It's so secret, even she doesn't know where it is. Uh, I guess you could say I've never actually been there, myself, personally. <laughs> But I have to get there soon or I'll miss the big feast. In that case, we'd better help you find it. Dashie, sound the Octo Alert. Octonauts, to the launch bay. Octonauts, our mission is to help Muriel find the secret manta ray feeding ground. Muriel, do you have any idea where it may be? Well. There is an old manta ray rhyme about it. Uh, follow the giant swirling thing, then ride the river to the secret ring. Hmm? Hmm. Dashie, let's see the map. Ah, I don't see any rivers or swirling things on the map. Maybe we're looking at the wrong map. Let's check the storm tracker. <gasps> there. That storm looks like a giant swirling thing. And we're going to follow it. Quasi, peso, dashi, into the guppe. We'd better hurry. The big feast doesn't last long. One swirling storm straight ahead. Oh, there it is! The swirling thing! Come along, everyone! Let's go! Muriel! <laughs> We've got to tow her out somehow. Quasi, can you? I'm coming for you, Muriel! Wait, don't touch her. You'll scratch off her slime. You need to make your paws soft and slimy first. I slime gloves. You take one fin, I'll take the other. <laughs> Sail, Muriel. I think we finally found something you're good at. Oh, is everyone okay? We're fine, Captain. But where are we? That storm pulled us pretty far out to sea. There's nothing around for miles. Oh no, we're lost. <gasps> now we'll never find the secret feeding ground. Uh, Muriel, what's that you're eating? Oh, just some krill. It's what we mantas eat. There'll be tons of krill at the big feast. Something's pulling the krill away. It could be a clue. Everyone, follow those krill. We'll have to come back for the cup A later. Look! They're being sucked into that current. Of course. A current is like a river of fast-moving water in the ocean. Follow the 
great big swirling thing, then ride the river to the secret ring. This must be it. What are we waiting for? Let's go. <laughs> We must be getting close. Aye, we are getting close to that giant reef. Let the deep flippers. The current's too strong to swim out of. Uh, we're going to crash. Two crashes in one day. That's a new record, Muriel. There's something on the other side. Everyone, sideways formation. <laughs> A hidden lagoon. The reef makes a ring all around it. Follow the river to the secret ring. That means... This must be it. The secret manta ray feeding ground. But I don't see any manta rays. The big feast must be over. Or maybe it's just beginning. It's like a manta ray whirlpool. That's how we manta rays eat when we all get together. Now these are some good shots. Ugh. My camera. Yeah, it's going too fast. Here, hop on, chaps. Now let's get that camera. <laughs> Almost have it. Oh. Look out! Careful where you're going. Oh dear, leave it to Muriel. This is starting to get a little rough. We need to hurry. <gasps> Dashi, are you okay? I'm fine, but we have to help the others. What about your camera? I'll leave it. My friends come first. <laughs> Now for Quasi and Peso. Peso, Quasi, grab on. <laughs> grab on? Grab on to what? Ah! No! no! Should have seen that coming. Now let's get out of here. The only way out is up. Muriel, we have to leap over the reef. Uh, I'm not very good at leaping. We'll help you. First, you've got to dive down to build up speed. Okay, here goes. Ooh. Now, up to the surface, fast. <laughs> Muriel, what's the matter? I just thought we might like a picture or two. <laughs> oh, thanks. I've got an idea for a great one. Here we go. Muriel? I guess I'm not so bad at leaving after all. <laughs> Thanks for all your help, chaps. Now that's a photo fit for the cover of National Geographic. <laughs> oh, thanks, Muriel. Did you get Muriel's good side? That's the side I am on. No, that's the side I am on. I'm Captain Barnacles. I, matey. Come on, everyone join in. Right, let's go.